So what is cooler than being cool? Me, you, or beer? Clock and a YouTube first. The premiere of Tiny Rebels. What's cooler than being cool? New England IPA coming in at 8% ABV. Now, I'm really, really looking forward to this. As you know, Tiny Rebel from Newport in Wales, they do some fantastic beers. This is a relatively new one. Um, I quite like the look of it. It's sort of got a sort of sort of a rebel sort of tone to it, you know. I must admit they do have some good artwork on their cans, you know. And I like the name. What's cooler than being cool? So let's crack this open, and get it into the glass, and see what it's like. I'm expecting big, big things from this beer. Now, oh god, I just got a whiff of that. Look at it. Look at it. It looks like chicken soup. It's that fantastic New England IPA, oaty, cloudy, yellowy colour with a classic one finger white head. Um, yeah, this is what you know they always will look like a New England IPA where they, they get the oats in there to cloud it up. Absolutely fantastic, crack it looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it just smashes out. Oh, grapefruit, lemon, tropical fruit. There's orange, there's limes. It's, oh, you just name these fruits, it's coming out. There's a hint of pepperiness there. It actually it's, it makes your nose tingle like a like a Belgium triple, believe it or not. Oh, it it smells like it smells fantastic. Um, I tell you what, if if they could, if they could bottle up this smell and stick it in a perfume, a woman's perfume, well, you know, it'd be fantastic. I'd make a great smelling woman's perfume. It really would, you know. Fantastic. I, I just can't stop smelling it. It's. Tiny Rebel, can we have some air freshness for the car smelling of this? Absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. Let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Whoa. Gonna need another sip on this. It's like velvet and silk in the mouth. The mouth feel of this is absolutely fantastic. Drinkability of this beer is just spot on. 
this is possibly one of the best New England IPAs I have had. It doesn't feel like an 8% beer either. It's no alcohol burn, none of this warming feeling. It's just smooth, drinks like a 4.5% beer. I haven't got to the flavours yet because it is a very, very complex brew, this. Every sip I'm getting something else screaming at me and I'm trying to trying to decipher it. It's 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 probably a, a bit like in the in the Second World War and then them poor buggers who were trying to um Alan Turing and whatnot were trying to decipher the Enigma code because the flavours that this is punching out and the different twists and turns with every mouthful you're going to you need a cryptologist to, to to decipher it. It is really, really screwing my head. I'm getting I'm getting grapefruit there. I'm also getting peaches. Apricots. Um, every time I take a different another sip, I'm getting a different fruit flavour. Lemons, limes, grapefruit, peaches, apricots, a bit of melon. You name it, it's there. Um, very 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 sweet bitterness and it's the oats in this that are giving it this this sort of sweetness the malts are very very smooth it's sort of it glides across your tongue and glides down your down your throat. It it glides in a way that if you ever see like um, you're on the motorway and you see a Bentley on the motorway, uh, no, like a Bentley never seems to dr like drive like a normal car. It seems to like glide. You know, um, you know what I mean. If you if you see one go down the motorway, a Bentley they tend to glide. And this here, it just seems to glide, you know, this is, um, yeah, it's, it's putting a smile on my face. This is very, very, very good. Now, um, the downside of being very, very good. That is four fifty a can. It's not cheap when you consider you're getting um, New England IPAs in Tesco's, um, off of the likes of Vocation, off of the likes of Brewdog and Cloudwater, and uh, the Hazy Jane for three quid, and they're you know they're bigger cans. Whereas this, this is a small, small can, and it's four fifty. So a lot of people, are you watching this, are going to look at that and think four pound fifty for a can of beer, and that's going to put them off. But having said that, it's eight percent. You don't need too many of these to fall on your back, um, and when you think about going down your local pub now and you know a pint of just normal beer is you know if I was to say four quid a pint on average now for a beer and a boozer um, and a lot of these beers averaging out four quid a pint they're not that really good beers really so if you put it in that context you're getting a, 
a fantastic crafted beer here. This is fantastic. You know, this is packed with, with juicy hops. You know, um, I added a guess of, you know, it's going to have citra in there. It might have Helatau, um, Galaxy. You know, it, it's got all the traits of these hops because of the taste, the fruitiness. I just don't know what to say. <sighs> Tiny Rebel. This is fantastic. This is winner, winner, chicken dinner. I tell you. Um, I cannot praise this up enough. In my eyes, it's well worth four and a half quid a can. Um, and I recommend to all of you to go out there, buy a can, try this because, you know, this is the best New England IPA I've had. This knocks the likes of your Hazy Janes, your Brewdog versus Cloudwater, your Vocations. It, it, it knocks them into a different ballpark, you know what I mean? Um... If they come again, if they come up against this in the FA Cup, right, it'd knock them out. You know, um, that's how good this is. I'm going to make a bold statement. This beer is so good. This could be my beer of the year 2019 it's that good and on that look get yourself a can of this look I got it off a of tiny rebel I went on their website because I bought I bought some of their tiny rebel they had a bit of a deal going on with a, a box of beer like summer beer box thing and I see this on there and I thought I've got to have a can of that as well like so I added that to the thing um, yes it's expensive Boy, is it bloody good. Um, and I think that, I think how, because this beer is so good, it outweighs the four four pound fifty you pay for a can. Um, get hold of a can, try it, see what you think, leave a comment below. Um, give us a big thumbs up if you like the review, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And thank you very much like all your subscribers you know um because without you the channel's nothing tell all your mates share and share away let them all know get them to sign up and subscribe and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night <coughs> tt says never play with matches Fireworks and always drink responsibly.